Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to present this topic, how to onboard the next million consumer applications on Bitcoin. So before we enter the metrics, let me like, first introduce myself. Uh, I'm a PhD at UCSB and also the co-founder of Newbit. So we are doing like, research in the field of uh, compilers and web series security. So what problems are we trying to solve at Newbit? So let me first like, take a look at the current landscape of Web3. So where we are, right? So we have a lot of layer one solutions, such as Bitcoin, such as Ethereum. And based on these crypto assets, we have a lot of rethinking protocols, such as Babylon, such as Eigenlayer, and to reuse these assets to secure other blockchains. And based on that, on top of that, there are layers upon layers of protocols, uh, all the way up to layer twos. So at this point, you might think, like, what's the missing part? What exactly do we need? So actually, like, although there are a lot of like, applications or like, protocols being built, the entire industry is also like, suffering from the, a lack of traction. When I say traction, I mean we need more consumer engagement. So also there are a lot of like, developers building great applications. When they're trying to like, enter Web3, they encounter like, significant barriers so, uh, and which I will, like, like when, they, like, when they try to turn their, like, uh, with two applications on chain, they will, like, uh, suddenly meet a lot of, like, layers upon layers of issues, which I will, I will elaborate on it in the, like, next few slides. So, uh, before we jump into our solution, let's take a look at how Web2 achieved mass adoption. So, let's consider WeChat. Uh, WeChat is one of the most popular social platform originally in China with over a billion users. So WeChat is powerful not just because it offers the, the, the social features like chats and moments, also the mini programs. It also offers the payment system, the storage solutions through Tencent Cloud. And more importantly, it encapsulates all of these modules into one easy and clean to use, easy to use uh, platform called Weixin Dev Tools and where developers can build their applications without worrying about the underlying details, such as payments, such as the currency. So now the question becomes like, can we mimic a similar approach in Web3? The answer is yes. Luckily, we already have a platform called Telegram. Uh, it has a like, user base as large as WeChat, and it has some, like, many features, like social features, like mini programs, but like, there are still many missing pieces, such as payment system such as uh, blockchain management, such as storage solution. So like, most importantly, we need to wrap up these modules in a way that makes it easy for developers to enter Web3. And uh, well, like, it is not easy. The Web2 to Web3 is very hard, and here's the issue. So when a Web2 developer trying to like, like turn, like, uh, like move their applications on chain, they certainly have a lot to worry about such as they need to learn like, smart contracts. They need to like, get familiar with blockchains. And when they even like, set up everything, they still need to worry about security, right? Like they, we are talking about billions of assets in, in Web3, and a tiny mistake in your protocol may cause you to lose everything. So to solve these issues, like, oh, there's one more issue. So there's also like centralization concern on Bitcoin. Uh, like if you're familiar with the current landscape of the Bitcoin ecosystem, actually there are dozens of layer twos, but they are like facing the, like, a dilemma. So if they are trying to store all their raw data directly on Bitcoin, uh, based on like given the, the block space of Bitcoin, like four megabytes per 10 minutes, they can only support uh, like 100 TPS for all layer twos combined, which is super limited. It, it will be very, very expensive. And if they are trying to store all this data directly on, on their central server, it actually defeats the points of decentralization and also introduce many security concerns. So we need a, like a DA layer, decentralized DA layer to store all this data. And also, we need to perform settlements on Bitcoin. So to solve this, all these issues, we, uh, I want to highlight three key ingredients. Uh, the first ingredient is the unified wallet. So you may ask, like, there are a lot of wallets right now, right? But none of them like, actually satisfies all these requirements. So the first requirement is it should support multiple blockchains. So the users don't need to switch, uh, switch their like, wallets when, wherever they want to use another blockchain. And the second part is it should, it should support like, social login. So the users, like, Web2 users, don't need to like, 
manage their, their private keys. They can directly use their Web2 accounts to manage their crypto assets, such as Telegram, such as uh, Gmail. And it should support on-ramp, off-ramp, so the users can uh, basically like, deposit and withdraw at any time. And it should, like, most importantly, it should integrate, directly integrate with Telegram, with these Web2 platforms. So users don't need to like, download another applications. They can do all the trans like, tra like, tra transactions directly within this Telegram platform. And the second ingredient I want to highlight is that it should, like, we, should, we want to empower users and developers with their own chain. So nowadays, on the left-hand side, there are chains that, try to, that are trying to onboard like, all the users and develop, developers. And if you think about it, it doesn't really make sense, right? So like, each application shares the same amount of services, like storage uh, requirements and the, the, the like, computation services. And uh, for example, the, the requirements for an like, AI agent should be very different from the requirements for a like, DeFi project. So at Newbit, we want to empower developers to launch their own chain tailored to their own needs, uh, which we call mini chain. So uh, like, with this mini chain, like, developers can actually become their own landlords and directly benefit from their own user base. So uh, and also, like, you, you, might, you might think like, like I have already mentioned there are layers upon layers of protocols. Won't this just lead to like worse fragmentation problem? So don't worry, we have a like solution. Uh, so at the top, there are many like applications, like AI agents, like gaming applications, like TradeBot. So to connect these applications together, we have a universal bridge where they can transfer the messages, transfer the assets, and to further optimize this process, all these mini chains will share the same DA layer, which is new bit DA, where they have their own namespace and they can directly exchange message within this DA layer, which is much more efficient. Uh, and uh, let's like zoom out a little bit and take a look at the whole architecture from the from our Web2 developers. So uh, at the top, we have Telegram users, we have uh, all these mini applications, and at the bottom, we also have the, the like layer one blockchains. Like, uh, like BNB, like Bitcoin. So in the middle, we have, uh, like we have many missing pieces. And we build a unified wallet for the Web2 users. And we build a universal bridge for all these mini chains. And we also launch the new bit DA for all the mini chains combined. And so at Newbit, we help developers to launch this vertical architecture automatically. So they, they, they don't need to worry about the complexities of blockchain. They only need to focus on their core business logic. Uh, so here I want to like get into more like details, like technical details. The first one is our DA layer. So our DA layer is secured by Bitcoin. It has three major components. The first one is the validator. It uses the Bitcoin staking uh, thanks to Babylon, and it, uh, we use a like high-performance consensus algorithm to achieve the same level of Bitcoin centralized resistance. And also uh, for the DA part, we have the full third node and line node. The first node is actually a, like a full storage replica of all the data published to Bitcoin, and the line node it will perform the like periodically like DA sampling with the full third node and validators, uh, so it can ensure the like like the, the, the availability of the data. And the second component is settlement on Bitcoin. So. Uh, actually, like nowadays, there are many layer tools, and there are many like in all ecosystems, there are many like mini chains, and many of them they want to do the settlement on Bitcoin, and thanks to the like many amazing teams such as Chakra, such as Bitcoin OS, we actually we can uh, achieve this goal like uh, very soon. So before we actually do the settlement on Bitcoin, we actually want to ensure the security of this settlement, right? So we uh, in house we develop this. Uh, like formal verification tools because I'm come from the security background, right? So uh, this formal verification tools can uh, actually formally verify these Bitcoin scripts uh, with respect to their like specification, and based on that, we can actually like transform the Solidity code to the like Bitcoin script and di directly deploy these like zk uh, snark verified contract directly on Bitcoin. And so that uh, this, all these layer tools and all these applications, they can directly verify these like DA proofs, like state proofs, they're on Bitcoin. And, uh, and the third part is that it's, it's the decentralized toolkit. It's, here's where things turn to something familiar. If you like familiar with the Web2 development, 
it's actually uh, like you might recognize this, uh, like this MVC architecture, right? So the module, the, like the view here, represents the user interface, such as MinIAP, such as H5, like front end. And the module here, uh, like actually, uh, it's, uh, like uh, typically stored on some like database. And the controller here represents your like core business logic of your applications. So uh, when a developer wants to like like move their application on chain, all they need to do is to add a tiny extension to the module, which is essentially a ledger. Uh, they need to access their accounts and like, manage their like like ledger. That's all. And it's actually a like tiny extension of the Web2 design pattern. So it will make it very easy for developer for Web2 developers to, to like to use this module. And to put all this combined, like how does new fit like fits into this, right? Uh, we provide we actually will provide the, the the a way to launch this whole architecture for developers and it will also solve the liquidity fragmentation problem uh, using this Unifold bridge and UBD layer. So essentially we provide a one-stop ecosystem solutions for all these developers to build on Web3. So uh, where we are right now. So two weeks ago we launched, the, we launched this uh, architecture and we already onboard like several uh, applications such as the gaming applications such as the layer two and uh, based on that, we are already like partnered with the first unified wallet, which is Tomo Wallet. It is directly integrated with Telegram and some multi multi blockchains. And also, we as for the mini chain part, we are already integrated with all major layer two stacks. So the developers can build whatever like stacks they want uh, based on this architecture. And also, we can currently can do settlements on Ethereum and Tom. And like in the near future, we will support the Bitcoin uh, like as well. So. Uh, currently, there are over like 60,000 uh, active users uh, uh, like within this ecosystem and generating over 200,000 transactions on our DA layer. And I want to conclude this like, keynote with this quote. So let's say you build a lot of roads, uh, but there's nobody lives there. Is that valuable? Not yet. Say you build a lot of houses, uh, but nobody wants to live there because there's uh, no jobs, there's uh, no goods to trade. Uh, is that valuable? Not yet. Then you build a lot of factories. Now, there are pe now, now people can actually move in. Uh, all these infrastructures from the first two steps becomes valuable. So before it was just like potential value. So which one is the valuable part? Right? All of them together are valuable, but missing one ingredient makes everything useless. And at Newbit, we are trying to build all these missing pieces, this, all these middlewares for the like, Web2 developers to interweb3 and also for the Web3 applications to interweb2. Uh, thank you.